the cutest boy, the cutest boy I ever saw. I ever saw. Was it been so? Was it been so? From a straw. From a straw. I found a thank you note. My sister and I were cleaning out my mother's office during the weeks after the funeral, and I found it pinned to her office wall. It startled me to see it there, kept. I had written it to her years ago. Mom, it said, thank you for teaching me how to play with my children. So I want to talk about my mother. Specifically, I want to talk about her playfulness, her sense of fun, her joy, and her laughter. I replay memories of my sister and me laughing with Mom just so I can hear her laugh again. There was a particular moment where the three of us were comparing our toes and we laughed so hard it hurt. That picture will always laugh for me. Mom loved music, and there are always songs that remind me of her, from children's songs in Spanish, like Elena la Ballena, to the Piña Colada song. I remember how smitten she was with Loverboy and those red leather pants. My adolescent self required that I be embarrassed by that but it was also kind of cool. Mom loved to laugh, and she loved family and friends. She was heartbroken when her brother went away and never contacted her again. That kind of hurt shows up on people, but she still managed to smile. She grew up in a large migrant family, and the pictures show how hard it was, but always seemed to convey her spunk and life. She sometimes struggled financially, but friends, family, and laughter were healing. Her grandchildren were the center of her world, and she used any excuse to spend time with them. She sang them the song she sang to me. She found a joy in meeting random Rabagos, certain that we were related because it is such an uncommon name. When she passed away so suddenly, we were in shock. This wasn't supposed to happen, not Terry. The family poured in, and we found a way to connect and smile because that's what she would want. It was then that I realized just how many lives my mother touched. I see my mother everywhere. I see her in my children's faces and in their inflections. I look down at my hands and realize that they are my mother's hands. When I walk past a mirror and my hair is a certain way or I come at it at an angle, I see my mother. I've learned to pause and say hello, and it's nice to know she's with me. <laughs>